Howdy folks. So ADHD and motivation have got a really fragile relationship. Um, and that's why in today's video, I wanna talk about um, why the relationship is so fragile and what you can actually do about it as well. What's slightly puzzling about motivation in ADHD is the inconsistency. If the task at hand is of personal interest, motivation and focus are usually dialed in and uh, through the roof. Um, and you'll quite often overperform in that situation. However, if what you're trying to do isn't aligned with your own focus and wants and needs, it's usually then much, much harder to perform and you'll usually perform much lower than your actual capability. This on the surface does seem like um, just a problem with willpower, but for people with ADHD, the issue actually goes much deeper than that. And it's mostly to do with the way that our brains are wired. People with ADHD have a problem with their dopamine pathway. Both children and adults who suffer with ADHD have lower levels of dopamine in their system, which because this is the neurotransmitter that's responsible for reward and pleasure, might explain how the reward of actually doing something that we don't want to do, despite how much we know it will positively impact our life, um, isn't enough for us to take action on it. Now I'm seriously guilty for this personally, um, even if I know that the thing is like for the best, the reward doesn't seem like it's going to be worth the effort that I'll have to put in to get there. However, in recent weeks, I've actually made some real good progress with this um, and I want to share it with you as well. The way that I've managed to do it is through setting goals and revisiting them as often as possible and that's been the key for me. So for example, about a month ago, I had a huge pile of paperwork that I needed to work through. That was for a really exciting opportunity that I might be able to um, take in the next sort of year or so. So this does fit the profile of like a boring, unengaging task, um, but one that once finished, it could possibly change my life for the better. After I wrote this down as a goal that I wanted to achieve to finish all of this paperwork, I made sure that I saw it wherever I was, um, whether that be a post-it note on the bathroom mirror, uh, a little note on the fridge, or a reminder on my phone, I wanted this to stay at the forefront of my thoughts. By doing this, it seemed like my mind was sort of subconsciously marinating in, in the task in terms of what it would require me to do and the rewards of getting it done as well. The repetition itself seemed to be cementing the idea in my head that it was important to me. And through no effort of my own, the rewards for getting it done were becoming more apparent by the day. As a result, my motivation to get it done went through the roof because I could see the end goal. And so I smashed it out over the next few days. So it seemed like there was a shift in me from it needs doing, but it won't be worth it, to must get it done because it'll align with my future and where I want to go. This has really been helping me to get difficult tasks done. So do let me know if you use anything similar for yourself or if you try this one. Thank you all so much for all your kind support. Um, it literally is the reason that I'm still making videos. So yeah, big thank you to everyone. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Ciao.